Hello guys, I'm here with uh, some sort of update with you uh, because at the moment we have five steps of the 10 split at the Germany Grand League so we are halfway through it so why not make a little video where I summarize what has happened so far and who's doing well, who could do better and what I predict in the future. The title itself says it clear, uh, Carl Jr. leads uh, Jackmina Grand League when 50% of the event is played and he leads it with pretty good margin. He has 319 points and uh, Peck, who is at number 2, has 220 points. 99 points there if you are quick in math and then we go down to number 3 which is uh, Kappa with 129 points. So there's also a massive gap from number 2 to number 3, but then from number 3 to number 4 there is just 10 points, spam is number uh, uh, 4, and then it's really close from there, Bren with 113 points, Scrappy 100 points, Papu uh, 89 points, Cap 70 points, Rollin 66 points, Danik B uh, 30 points, Dexter 24 points, Bits 19 points, Dunstad has 10 points, Macy has 6, Sebrus has 5, and Sky, who is now out of the event, had 3 points. So what does this ranking tell us? Well, obviously it tells us that Carl Jr. is doing really well in this event. And once again, he is proving what talent he has. Uh, new format, still, he just dominates it. Uh, he is doing the best, at least uh, in the rankings, and gets points every single step and collects them into his total scores and the argument for him not being the best of all time is for me stupid he is the best of all time it's more or less a statement now uh, then uh, pack who has really got the momentum on step four and step five is getting more and more points so he's actually the only one i can see who can take that first place away from call jr because even though there are 99 points difference there these two guys get so many points for each step that even though it's a big margin, there isn't a big margin for them because they get a lot of points and therefore the margin isn't that uh, crucial. So if, let's say, Carl Jr. fails uh, map uh, 5 and Pat doesn't and therefore get all the points into the step, he might catch up and then equal in the next step. And then I will say there are a battle between a lot of people in the step or for the third place. You have Kappa, Spam, Brand, Scrappy, and Papu within 40 points. I would say that Scrappy is the one who has looked the best out of these guys. He's just a victim of failing the step one, missing 50 points there, and not playing step four, so getting zero points. No, step five, sorry, so getting zero points there. So I would say he is the guy who looks the third best and should be in the third place but yeah what can i do uh kappa was probably the guy who disappointed me the most before uh, step four was played but then he got a lot of points there and even more points now in step five so it seems to get them more and more momentum and seems to be more and more serious about this event um we talk about uh, number five or number four sorry uh spam uh Who's number four actually? Uh, I don't think too many people expected him to be one of the guys battling for the third place here. At least people I spoke to had names, but he didn't pop up too many times. But once again, that seems to be the case for him because before uh, the World Championship in uh, October, not many people mentioned him to be a contender for a grand final, but it ended up being the case and he finished sixth. And I believe he can even go get the third place here he seems to be also getting better and better seems to like this endurance format doesn't do too many mistakes and therefore gets all his points because he never drops down below eight or at least he doesn't rarely and then Bren number five I had him as the biggest favorite before this event uh, and then I had Pack and then I had Kappa so he's probably the guy who at the moment I expected to do a lot better was almost like people I spoke to before the event, they had him as the winner already. Why should you even play this event? Just give the money to Bren. But now he... I don't want to say struggle, because he's number five. But as for the expectations, he's probably the guy who is doing the worst out of the previous or the 
pre-event expectations. Uh, and then I can mention uh, Danny P and Dexter, who will also fall in that category. I believe people expect them. I myself, at least, if I just speak for myself, I expect them to do a lot better. Uh, because they qualified through tough regions, it's not like they got a free slot. Uh, Danny P knocked out Tween. Dexter knocked out Onio, he knocked out Massa, he knocked out Riolo, and more from Germany and Austria. But they don't seem to get these points, maybe they are victims of not being too consistent, or not too fan of the format, or too fan of the maps. Uh, if you go through who has won the most maps, because this new for this season, or this event, and you get 100 euros for each map win, uh, the guy who's most happy about that, I guess, is the British player Pack. 10 map wins, so quick map there, 1000 euros. Then we have Carl Jr. 8 map wins, Scrappy with 4, Papu with 2, Dexter with 1, and Spam with 1. But yeah, I probably missed a lot of map because that doesn't add up. But anyway, uh, there was some discussion yesterday, or a guy mentioning it in the Discord channel, that the tension seems to be more and more gone for each step now. There are a clear uh, gap between the top 8 to 9, and then from number 9 to number 16. So the real uh, reason for them having this championship mode and people behind number 8 losing points doesn't seem to be in effect anymore. And I think that was a clear case at um, the step five that we recently had. Even though, uh, like, Carl Jr. did a mistake in the first 10 seconds of uh, map four, still caught up, still in lose points. A lot of players were like 20 seconds to half a minute behind spam on uh, map five, still didn't lose any points. So, that's, in my eyes, it's just a good case because then you still have the best players winning, but. I see that people are a little frustrated about that because the format and uh, the reason for this championship move was that it was going to be a battle and having fun on who is going to finish top 8 but now you can pretty much predict who is the group finishing top 8 and who is the group finishing behind top 8. That's probably just a, a consequence of having regional slots. You have some regions with less strong players and you have some regions with really strong players and then when they face off against each other you just see that there are a huge gap between the very best and the good players in this game so i'm curious to see what they do uh in the next qualifier but that's or the next season but that's a story for another time uh so yeah let's me if i'm to predict let's say a podium now i had a prediction for a podium before the event then I had Bren, Pack, and Kappa. At the moment, two of them are actually number two and number three. I'd, if I just had to switch out Carl Jr. with Bren, I would have all the correct. Uh, but let's see if I do it now. Uh, I, will, I will actually go with the current standings. No, I won't. Uh, Carl Jr. will uh, win it. Pack will be number two. Then I'll say Scrappy takes that battle for a third place. I almost want to say that actually Pack can beat Carl Jr. Seems to be really motivated at the moment and just gets more and more momentum. But Pack has Gamers Assembly to think about coming up and Carl Jr. doesn't. So let's go with that for now. Uh, and yeah, I'll make my own video about the open qualifiers and that this guy is disconnected or disconnected. <laughs> disqualified for this event. I think I summed it up uh, pretty good-ish. Let me know what you think in the comments, who is surprising you the most, who is uh, disappointing you, and what do you see happening in the next five step? Who is gonna be the winner? Who is gonna be number two? Who is gonna be number three? And uh, who is also gonna be finishing in the top eight because if you finish ninth, I believe you get zero euros, but if you finish top eight, you get at least something. Let me know what you think, and uh, if you want more of these sort of recaps, maybe after each step, I will do that. I don't mind talking, so let me know. Bye-bye.